Alan Moore here on another Fragrance Review. Uh, on today's video guys, I'm going to be discussing uh, some out of the shower fragrances for you. You know, you've all had those days where you come from work, you know, going out of nowhere. But you want to smell fresh after you've been to work all day, so you're throwing off like a nice aftershave or a, you know, a, a, a fragrance. Just to freshen you up, it's only going to last a few hours before you get a red. But sometimes I enjoy putting something off, just took a shower. Uh, just to see out through the rest of the evening. So if you're interested in this, stick around after the intro. I've got some down you might be interested in. Cheers guys, thanks a lot. Welcome back guys, cheers. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Uh, thanks for tuning back in. Right. Um, we've got an honourable mention. In the before we came with the main stars of the show, so to speak, and also I want to show you this. This is my scent of the evening, it's the Blue de Chanel, the EDT version. So I fancy the nice grapefruit note, and this has got a perfect grapefruit note in this, guys. It's nice and refreshing, and I just fancied something like this one tonight. So, as I came out the shower, and that was my out of the shower frag for tonight. Uh, it's a bit more expensive to you, but I thought I'd treat it myself, you know, I just wanted something a bit more special. Huh? But these ones I'm going to show you now, they're not bad fragrances at all. So don't let me get you mixed up before we start. They're all good fragrances, and they've all got a right to be there as an shared fragrance. And I'll explain why as I go along. Right. I've written some notes down for the notes for you, so you can see what notes are in there. So we've got an honourable mention first, it's like two in one. So you've got these two bad boys there. This, this is fine accruciments, right? And this is the little orange noir. It's got the aftershave to match it as well. And I say I've tried, I've got the American blend version of this particular brand, and they're both nice. This one's based on uh, Terre de Mes, the 2006 version. But let me tell you something about this. All the different videos that I've seen on Ted and Mez. I've all been saying that the, it's got like a bitter orange, earthy kind of orange smell. But you've got earthy notes in this one, has, but it's, it's not bitter orange at all. It's more like a sweet orange, if anything. I'm going to share this place so you can see all on this. But if you can smell this now, right, it's like a sweet candied orange to me, right, mixed in with the earthy notes and the different stuff to give a bit of body towards the fragrance. And it just smells really nice and sweet and alluring like it's nice, it's quite nice. It's not got the greatest longevity, but it was made from the wet shaving community. They started off with things like this, guys, and all the aftershave, and they do all the soaps and everything, and the erasers. And so they turned the land into turning to the EDT version of the same aftershave. So this is how it's all come about. And they've got different variations of famous fragrances. You can check them out if you check out their website, Fine Recruitments, and based in America. Uh, and they, they've got quite a lot of different, what we class as a designer fragrance, you like Aventus and um, Aqua de Palma, you know, they've got a version of that as well. Uh, the Aventus I've heard off the different shaving community crowd on watch, as they're very shaving, they put these things on, not got the greatest longevity again, it's quite poor. The, Longevity, but if you want to get to this by all means, you know, W Tower and Navigate, they're quite cheap. This one was £27, and the aftershave was about £20, so they're quite cheap, really. And they do say a purpose about this video how to share a fragrance, it's fantastic what you need for that. I've had com more than one compliment after my wife after I've met the show, and settling down to watch the TV for the rest of the night before I go to bed. And these fragrances, they rock, and you could have. These on guys, you can uh, rock these fragrances, you know, as well as I have. And I'm sure you, you'd enjoy them as well. You know, they're quite, is that sweet candy or is it, you know, wins this one out for me. It's quite sweet, it's, it's, it's quite nice the way it's done. So, let's go with the next one. This is the four fragrances now that I'm on the video. That was just like the honourable mention I got out there with them two fragrances. It's all the same smell, the overall fragrance smell they give you. These ones are more separate individual fragrances. Now we'll start off with this one. For him by Narcisco Rodriguez. This is 
An old school fragrance, more like the, I think the 70s, I think the Sky Ranch. And let's just turn the atomizer there. I'll show the atomizer. Now this one, I've heard different rumours on TV and that watching their videos, but I found out it's about the top. Wanted to try this out. They say it smells like wet concrete. I don't pick that up personally, but that's what they refer to sometimes. To me, it's got a strong, you know, floral note in this fragrance. But it's not like floral that's, you know, too feminine. It's done as a tie-in. The men's fragrances are trying something different. I think this was it made about the 70s or not long after. Um, and at that time, you got things like geranium, carnation, working its way into the fragrances, into men's popular masculine fragrance. Even roses started to come in. So... Um, this is now different. This is their take on a new fragrance at the time when it was released with a, a floral nose done in a masculine way. But there's more to it than what's advertised. I was looking on Fred Rant to be so I've got nose written down here, guys, so I can give you what they've written down. Right? We've got one, two, three, four nose so on this. That's all they've that written down on there. So, it just to show you they're not listing everything in the cinema, I don't think. Uh, it's not got everything on orchid smell. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But to me, it's got, on this, it's got violet, musk, patchouli, and amber. Now, the, the musk, the patchouli, and the violet I could probably get, if I was to be honest. That's where the floral notes, you know. When I sprayed this into the cap here, look at like that. To me, it gives off like a cardamom smell as well, but it's not listed. A bit like the Landry Delon. Do you know that famous range with the cardamom now? It's got a similar note feel to that, a bit of an arsenal there. And when it first opens up with a floral now, it's a different stuff. It gives me that impression. Uh, but also, at the same time as well, that's almost the patchouli in there. The patchouli didn't give off like a chocolatey sm uh, taste, uh, smell to me, like a chocolatey cake. I've heard uh, Sebastian on his, his fragrance show, you know, saying that patchouli can work in that way. And this guy knows a lot about fragrances. But I've heard him say that, and I quite tend to agree with him with this fragrance, because it, to me, it's got like, it's got like, does it start to settle down like a chocolate in out to it? And I'm sure it's coming from the patchouli. That's what I detect. Now, whether other people, you know, might disagree with me who watch this fragrance, this video about this fragrance, might say, well, it's nothing like that, but that's what I'll pick up when I'm smelling it. And I can only report to you guys what I'm smelling myself. Maybe you need to get your own nose on it to see whether you like it or not. Get a sample if you can. You know, and then just give it a try. It don't cost that much, I don't think, in the UK. But again, to me, it's about seven hours on my skin. You know, so if I finish work, say, five o'clock, I'm well showered and relaxing by seven. I've got enough time then before I go to bed for it to start working its way down before I get in bed. It's not too strong. You know, so you don't get a bed with a really strong fragrance because it'll stop your part of sleeping or whatever. And that's not complaining about that. So right, on the next one then guys, is this one here. The classic Carl Lagerfeld. Now this one, this is misleading when I first smelt this. And even though I looked at the notes here, I've got the notes right up. I'll read the notes out for you a minute. I look, so that's what the bottle looks like. Proper old school look. Top comes off there, look. Nice big long bottle. I've had this ages now. I do use this regular out of the share of fragrance. I'll tell you what in a minute. And this one guys, top now you've got all the hoids, tarragon, calorie sage, bergamot, lemon, green notes. Right, so you've got all them in just the top notes. In the mid you've got tobacco, this was made again in the 70s. Uh, you've got uh, tobacco, sandalwood, forest root, patchouli, rose, cedar and jasmine. Right. In the base, you've got amber, vanilla, musk, oak moss, and tonka beans. And it's classed as an amber, would it? Now, if you were to say to me, what can you smell from this fragrance? Let me just spray this back. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not lying to you. I'm not, it's not written down on my notes, I can promise you. Right? But I was well blind, so there's like an orange note in here. Like an orangey smell to me. It's more of an almond, orange dominant fragrance than anything I can pick out. And yet it's not listed down there. It's not even listed on there. But it's got also with the orange, like a smell of vanilla. I can't smell the vanilla in the, by the orange as well. 
And I don't think that's what's coming through here, is the amber and the tonka bean and the vanilla that's creating this smell. To give it this like orangey smell to it. And it's got, you've got to smell it. You, think you could smell this through this video on here. You'd see what I was on about. It does smell like an orangey fragrance. The, the colour gives it away as well, look. You know, it's got that colour. That, there's sometimes like amber can look like a, a, a a deeper or orange colour, that's quite light. When that was, oh, I was looking at that based on marshmallow, so that's got to be an orange fragrance, that's the way I think about it. Because it just seems to give off that vibe, guys. You know, and it's really, it's a fantastic out of the shower fragrance, this is. You'll feel that refreshed when you put this on. And it'll last most of your nights. You keep smelling it, you just, you'll see it go through the changes, it starts working it through the meat and then gets into the dry down, right? It will change, you start feeling that the wood's coming through more in it, it's got cedar and it's got sandalwood in there, you know, so that starts coming through more in the, towards the middle of the base, and so that's where it's got the amber woody uh, tag from. But it's a, a cracking out of the shower fragrance, guys, I would recommend this one as well. And this, on you've got to try a Notino or something, you'll get this less than 15 quid, and you get like a shower gel with it normally. And then you said, I had it, it was crack, cracking bargain. And we all, let's be honest, we all look at we all like a bargain now and again. On the next one, we've got this one. Now I've used this not just for this purpose, this can be used as a dune scent. It's not offensive, and it's you know got a pleasant smell about it. You put this on and you're ready to settle down for the night and you're good to go. This this one for sachet, pour on. Right. It's not got the greatest longevity. So this is why I say it's ideal for or they're going to a gym because you're not going to be there for more than a couple of hours at most. You know, most people anyway I care for a couple of hours and go. Some people may stay on with them more, long to more into living in a gym, gym rat, I think they call themselves. You know, so they might stay there a bit longer. But even so, this would last you at least four, maybe five hours, enough to see you through a gym session. But out the shower fragrance, like tonight's theme, this is like see you through when you're going to bed. And again, not overpower somebody next to you. And you still feel fresh, refreshed, you know, refreshed and it's invigorated. She's got a lovely melon note in there. The melon note is the start of the show as far as I'm concerned. It's got like, a, it's classed as a, a aromatic fusion. That's what the, the fragrance is classed as. And let me just read you the note. She's got uh, lemon, bergamot, neroli and rose that's in the top. In the mid, you got hyacinth. Oh, oh, hang on, let me say that again. Hyacinth. It's a, a new uh, now I've never heard of before, guys. Probably butcher, isn't it? Uh, uh, cedar, clary, sage, and geranium. And in the base, you've got tonka beans, musk, and amber. So that's in this one here. And again, you won't look at that juice there, guys. You won't think that's got amber, didn't it, would you? It's like a light blue colour. But a lot of phrases have got like, a dark resinous, like. Amber colour juice, but the the ones that have got like amber in it. But it's a gimmick to try and lube, make it look warm and you know inviting. It may be something like that. And this is the last one for the video, guys. So now you all got something to do. And it's this one here. Jimmy Chew Man Intense. Now this she is a nice cap there, look like an alligator skin type of feel to it. Nice spray there, look. You know, the colour, silver colour, and then it's built in spray there. That's fantastic fragrance, this is. It smells like a proper blue fragrance, you know, like the lights of Dylan Blue. Um, they've tried to tie it in with Sauvage, and they've tried to tie it in with Blue de Chanel over there. You know, they've tried to give them that same ballpark for these kind of fragrances. But in my experience, with it, Versace, Dylan Blue, all this one, they're very similar to me. They have the same effect on my skin. Maybe it's something to do with the oils on my skin, I don't know. The bow fragrance is stubble for longevity on my skin. And so this is why I've had this. It does remind me very much of uh, Dylan Blue. I love the fragrance. I love the smell of this. I love Dylan Blue. The smell, but it just, just fell off a cliff when it was on my skin. I couldn't smell it after a couple of hours. And I thought, well, saying it's a massage, I'd expect it to last longer than that. You know, and... I'd have the smell there a bit longer and uh, get picking up on it. And when you're starting to embed your nose into your arm to smell it, that's when I, I think that's turned into a bit of a poor fragrance in that respect. And so you feel like cheated a little bit. I do anyway. 
And I've talked about this on many videos I've done before. Uh, I'm not a person who likes to, you know, uh, look at poor performance fragrances and just tell them good even now, you know, you should be expecting more from them. So I've said my piece in the past and said, look, I don't think it's right, but that's for another day. I don't want to keep any longer than you need to be here today, please. So that's my four recommendations for the out the shower fragrances for today, guys. And you've got the honourable mention, which is the Narcissus Carl Rodriguez, right? And you've got the, sorry, the uh, La Orange Noir from all the group, which that's the honourable mention, sorry. And then you've got the, where is it? Uh, is that one? It's the reason that that's the honourable mention, you've got the Carl Lager, don't, don't forget, guys. That is a crappy phrase. I'll put them down here so I can keep in order. I'll put them out there on the video so I can just show you back to what you're missing out on if you don't buy these. They're the cheapest, cheaper guys. Go to find a group on website if you live in the USA or you live over here. If you live over in the UK, try shavingstation.co.uk. They sell them at a good price. Okay, so try them out. As I say, any of the other fragrances, whether it's the Jimmy Choo, the Star Sheet, uh, Lagerfeld or the Narcissus Carl Rodriguez, you drop them guys. And when you get out the show, I promise you, you'll feel refreshed with these fragrances and it'll serve you well. They'll last your ages as well. They're quite big bottles. And you'll have enough there to last you over 12 months, taking regular showers. Okay, guys, thanks for staying back in. Have a great rest of your week. And I hope we've got the weekend coming soon. Yeah, have some time off work again. See you again, guys. All the best. Bye now.